I am super pumped to be here to talk about uh, how I integrate digital dentistry into my practice. You know, when, when we have the opportunity to differentiate ourselves and to do something truly unique for our patients, it, it really comes out to benefit the practice and, and our patients at the same time. So I'm going to walk you through kind of what I do for my new patient consultation. This particular patient presented to me and wanted some implants and also was concerned about their smile and the aesthetics of their existing teeth. And, and so I'm going to walk you through kind of how I do these, these consultations, which I usually schedule about an hour and a half. And my whole goal when I, when I do a consultation is, number one, to really differentiate myself from the other practitioners because patients are really shopping around. For example, this patient had already been to several different dentists before me. And I, I want to let them know that I do things a little different. And one way that I am different is I create basically a digital twin of my patient. And this digital twin is there with me that I could treatment plan and do anything that I need to while the patient's not in the chair. So it could be fabricating surgical guides or it could be creating digital mock-ups and things like that. So um, the first step to, to basically creating a digital twin of your patient is going to start with some quality photographs. So we're going to have to digitize our patient. And the way that I do that initially is just with some simple photographs. And one way that I like to do this is with um, DSLRs. In this case, you know, it, it's not really important what camera you use. It's more more about the flash and the lens than it is the actual camera. Um, but you know, I have I have plenty of different cameras that I that I like to use. Some are dedicated for posterior, some are anterior, and it actually could be quite complicated um, with the various different flashes and diffusers and, and cameras. And so, so I really like to use the Solana Vision. For those of you who don't know, the Solana Vision is essentially an operatory light that is future-proof. It has two 4K video lenses that you could create high-definition stills or you could create high-definition videos that could be zoomed in and you could show patients all sorts of things, such as uh, you could record phonetics and speech and you can show them previews of their smile. And, and it's always nice to show video um, as opposed to 2D stills because patients really get a, a better understanding of how they're potential future teeth will look like if you show them a preview in a video format. So we'll show that a little later. But, you know, I really do think this camera simplifies everything because it's integrated within room access. So every video and every still that you take, it's instantly recorded in the patient's electronic health record. And you could edit the videos, you could edit the, the lighting and the color and the contrast, and you could annotate. It's just really cool what you could do with the Solana Vision. Um, it's been a game changer. Basically, Every patient that comes in, the first thing I'm doing is snapping some videos and some stills of that patient. And it also really helps later on down the road when you want to show before and afters. And so the next step to digitizing my patient is going to be to generate some high quality intraoral scans. And, you know, there's a lot of different scanners on the market that you could pick from and use with Romexis because Romexis is completely open. But I think for me, one of my favorite scanners to scan with is the Emerald S. Uh, Plameca has done a ton with this scanner recently with updated software algorithms and global alignment features, artificial intelligence, soft tissue removal. Um, it's become one of the most accurate scanners on the market and it's definitely also increased in speed. I'm just going to show you, uh, this is um, just a real-time video here, nothing edited or sped up. And the first thing is you want to have a retractor in place when you scan and you want the teeth dry. But you can see here, this thing just flies across the mouth. It's, it's remarkable how fast this is. It's, it's been really fun to scan with. The tip is really small compared to some other scanners on the market. And it tracks soft tissue remarkably well. I don't often get lost at all with this scanner. It's usually one continuous scan without any um, drops and in, in scanning and things like that. It's really fun to scan with. One thing that's really unique is that it's one of the lightest scanners on the market, so it's pretty much lighter than the iPhone, iPhone 12 Pro, um, it's, it's, which comes in handy if, you know, every new patient that I have, I'm scanning complete arch scans. It's nice to have something light. What you're also going to notice is that the camera is, is able to take high-definition photos as it's scanning, so all you do is click a button and it's able to take some photos. So later on, if you wanted to have some talking points with the patient about certain things, you can show them that. It scans really well on soft tissue. Um, it's amazing what this scanner could do. It's 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 one of the most uh, 
fun parts of my day is when I get to pick up the scanner, just start scanning. I used to dread impressions, alginates and physical impressions. I just dread them almost as much as my patients did. With uh, intraoral scanning, it's been kind of a uh, revitalized me in my practice. I, I love it. And so you can see here, we have a, a one minute scan for this complete arch. We've captured everything that we would need diagnostically. And we have such a crisp, high definition model here. So now I'm going to capture the opposing dentition. And by the way, um, this patient is sitting in an I-5 chair. If you guys don't know about this chair, the first thing every patient says when they sit in this chair is, this is so comfortable. In fact, that's exactly what this patient said when they sat in this chair. In addition to that, um, what's really cool about this chair, in addition to the integration with the scanner, so it's all integrated within the unit itself with uh, dual screens, so you could see what you're doing. You don't have to necessarily have a laptop and drag that around. Everything's integrated. It also has its own self-contained water purification um, system. So especially in light of COVID-19, um, we have really cool systems in place with this chair that make me feel better about what I'm doing to avoid cross-contamination of water lines and things like that. So very, very cool. So now here we are, and it's been under a minute, and we've scanned the complete arch on the lower, and watch the artificial intelligence algorithm delete all the extraneous soft tissue from the model instantly. And so now we have a high definition model rendered, and look at the stone view here, how crisp the STL file is. It's amazing, it's amazing how fast this thing is. That was a, I don't know, like a sub one minute scan. So now we're gonna work on the bite, and Plameca has spent a lot of time on the bite articulation algorithms. You could take multiple bites if you wanted to. You could take an open bite, a closed bite, centric relation, maximum intercuspation, whatever you want. In this case, I'm taking an MIP bite here. And we're going to render that in. What a, what a fantastic um, experience for the patient. They've been to other dentists and had alginates made for their consultation. So they were commenting on how awesome it was. Now, the scanner's fast, but is it accurate? And this is a recent study. Um, that was done at the Medical University of South Carolina. And we basically compared all the different scanners on the market. And what we found was that the new software in the Emerald S 6.2 or higher, 6.21 or higher, is going to be insanely accurate cross arch, so complete arch scan. It's not statistically different from the Prime Scan or the Trios 4 or the Trios 3. So you're right up there with um, other scanners on the market and, and you're able to basically for a lot less money have just as accurate of a scanner so it's, it's a phenomenal scanner i've um, been super happy with it now so you know we have the accuracy and the speed but what's cool about this scanner is it's integrated with romexis so now here i am in romexis which is basically your do anything software and i'm doing a smile design and the patient's sitting next to me chair side and we're going to do this together with the patient's involvement because i really like to include them in this and it's really, it's actually really fast because it's remarkably simple. Here I am pinning the extra oral photograph of the smile with the retracted view here. And the software is really smart at pinning these two separate photos together. And we're gonna go ahead and alter these silhouettes based off of a few things. One is what the patient is telling me he wants. And two is what is reasonably achievable with prosthetics without having to do extensive uh, in this case, the patient has been in ortho for six years and does not want to go back into orthodontics. And so we, we know that when we're doing this, we need to be realistic um, and we need to work with where the teeth are in the patient's face. So we're going to do some minor tooth movements, some aesthetic crown lengthening on the incisors, and we're going to go ahead and lengthen um, the central incisors. And so we're going back and forth and the patient's giving me their feedback on what they like and what they don't like. And, and we're going to really have the patient involved in this smile design. I like this as opposed to some other smile designs, which basically just put somebody else's teeth in the patient's mouth because it's a little bit more realistic on what's achievable, what I could achieve. So now here I am with the smile silhouette exported and I'm in PlanCAD Easy also within Romexis with just a click of a button. And I'm just going to go ahead and melt down the incisal edges to match my silhouette. And I'm going to go ahead and modify some of the contours really quick. And I like this software. PlanCAD Easy actually is one of my favorite CAD softwares, and I have them all because of this right here, how fast it is to instantly add surface texture into detail the way that I like to do it. I have my own 
style of teeth that I like. And, you know, the software gives you very nice proposals, but then I like to customize them. For example, here I just paint an area and I could move that area exactly where I want it, just that area without distorting the rest of the, the design. I could add surface texture and anatomy um, the way that I want to, and I could accentuate my embrasure forms and my lobes just the way that I like to for this particular patient. And so it has all the power that I need and it's really fast. Um, and so from this, it's also open. I'm able to export these all as STL files, and then I'm going to combine them into one model and 3D print this. And this model will 3D print in around um, 18 to 20 minutes, and then we'll go ahead and um, make a putty wash of it and transfer it to the patient's mouth all in the same appointment. Now, if you wanted some more power, with a click of a button, all the files transfer over instantly and automatically to PlanCAD Premium. And in PlanCAD Premium, you could sculpt and you have a lot more power. You have basically an unlimited library of different anatomies that you could work with. You could do chain mode where you could move teeth um, without having to mark margins here because we call these anatomic ponics. And so we don't have to spend time um, marking finish lines and we could just do an additive wax up instantly by almost like setting denture teeth on the model. And of course, what's really cool is that you still could superimpose your, your small design silhouette that you already did and check it out and see how close you are to what you had planned. And so you could see here we have to do a few little things and then we're off to 3D printing this as well. Now, PlanCAD Premium, you could do unlimited amount of meshes. You could import face scans. You could import STL files from CBCT um, renderings. You could basically do anything in the software, dentures and hybrid prosthetics and Basically, it's unlimited what you could do. So here I am. Now, I decided to print the one that I did in PlanCAD Easy <clears throat> because, to be honest with you, that's what I do for most of my patients unless I'm doing full mouth reconstruction or hybrid prosthetic or something like that. So here I am on the Creo C5, and we're going we're gonna to pop this sucker off and go ahead and put it in some alcohol, clean it up, and we're going to go ahead and make a putty wash of it. Really, really cool. The detail that this thing prints in is amazing. So here we're going to go ahead and this is uh, some polyvinyl siloxane putty and we're going to do an initial adaptation and we're going to let that set up and then we're going to do a light body wash with an additional layer of polyvinyl. Uh, so here you can see the final product. And what we're going to do now with this product is we're going to essentially transfer this to the patient's mouth and they're going to be able to try their smile that we designed together live at this appointment, this initial consultation appointment. Like I said, I like to schedule about an hour and a half for everything. And typically when patients leave, they're blown away. They usually ask me if they could keep these teeth. And, and the answer is no. Usually I don't send them home with these teeth because I can't predict when they're going to break or, or fall off or anything like that. But I have about a 99, maybe 98% case acceptance, acceptance rate when I do this. And it's it's been really nice also establishing this relationship with this patient and, and patients when you do these kind of things because they're they're usually very excited to see what, what would be the potential, what you could do for them. And so here we are, we're letting this set up for about two minutes and we're gonna go ahead and peel this off. And what's gonna happen, because of the accuracy of the intraoral scan and the wax up, you are gonna have no trimming to do. And the material is going to break away right at the gingiva and there's literally gonna be nothing that you have to do. It's amazing how little cleanup you, you have to do when you do this. It's it's really accurate and it, and it shows that the scanner and the printer working together synergistically are very, very accurate. So we're going to pop this off and this is going to be, we're going to do some close-ups of the unaltered, untouched smile design. Okay, so a little bit of flash there just peels right off. And without taking a handpiece to this thing or an instrument, I'm going to show you what we get right out of the bat. So. Let's take a look. Now I'm gonna, I love to capture some, some video with the Solana vision of the patient speaking, laughing, smiling with their new teeth. Um, patients love to see this. It really does help convey um, the emotion that the patient's going through right now when they're, when they're seeing their smile like this after having had been, been in braces for you know so long and having missing teeth, congenitally missing teeth and short teeth and all sorts of issues going on. Now, as you can see, we have a pretty good aesthetic result. Now you could take a handpiece to this and, and add some surface texture and anatomy if you choose. 
You could also edit it. So if you needed to edit, and then you could rescan that as an intraoral scan, and you could use that as the as a record as well. So now, when I break this off, I like to break it off in sections so the patient could see just the profound difference of exactly what we were doing with the before and after, um, where one side is done and one side's not done, and you could see just the profound difference for this patient. Now, while the the model is 3D printing, we're going to go ahead and we usually take a CBCT. In this case, we're using the VSO, and if you don't know, the VSO has it's a remarkable system where it has augmented reality patient positioning where you could see live the patient's face on the screen and just select the area that you want to expose. So there's really no guesswork um, that's done when you're trying to expose the patient. It's, it's, it's been a game changer. In addition to that, it has the calm algorithm. So patients are, are usually shaky or move, especially after implant placement and sedations. And with the calm algorithm, we don't have to make retake CBCTs anymore. Um, there's been so many times I can't tell you in the past where Patients have moved and we looked at it and it was non-diagnostic. Um, and so it really lets us um, be more efficient. So now here we are in Romexis. And what's cool in Romexis 6 is that all the patient information is available in this kind of Rolodex view. So, and you just double click on the file and you instantly go to that module. So that was Smile Design. So now we're clicking on the CBCT and we're instantly going to the 3D module. It's, it's so cool the way they organize this. And now I'm going to go through the CBCT with the patient, and I'm going to talk to them. Their existing implants, for example, have some fenestrations and um, perforations on the buccal plate. We have uh, all sorts of issues, and we're going tooth by tooth with this patient. I'm talking to them about everything that I see, and I could assure you their last consultations, nobody did this with them. So this patient was just blown away. And look, at we even see some idiopathic osteosclerosis there, and we're going to go ahead and highlight that. Um, if you were unsure what that was, you could um, hit a click of a button and send off for a pathology report by, by a board-certified um, oral radiologist. And so, um, you know, it's just so cool to be able to sit down with the patients and go through their mouth like this and show them potential issues. For example, there's some, some dehiscence on the lower uh, implants, and we have to talk about that. So now the patient's interested in getting some teeth. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly throw in some implants here and see what kind of bone we're looking at. And we could look at implant-centric view. We could even throw up our wax up, which was uh, just waxed, and see where these are going to be coming out of the wax up. Um, but in this case, this is just a consultation appointment. So I'm just trying to prepare the patient of what they might need in the future, potential uh, bone grafting or sinus lifts and things like that and the patient sitting with me as I do this and like I said um, you talk about wow factor when patients see this versus the last doc who just snapped some alginates and sent them home these patients are blown away for sure um, so now we merge the intraoral scan we merge the diagnostic wax up for that site um, number four five area and we could see, we could explain to the patient, this is why you need a molar shaped tooth. You don't have enough room for two implants there, even though you're missing tooth four and five. Um, you know, we could explain all that kind of stuff and help them understand. What's cool also is that you could overlay 2D with 3D. Basically, everything is instantly available in this patient record. Um, you could even throw in some face scans, some 3D face scans, whether it was made with the ProFace or with the Bellis app or basically anything, you could throw in any mesh, OBJ, STL, ply. Um, the sky is the limit what you could do with this technology. So I hope I gave you a little preview of what a new patient consult looks like in a high-tech office and how to be a little bit different with what you do. And, and you know, it's it's just been a joy to be able to use this technology and to help my patients with it. So thank you so much for spending the time.